All right, hello everyone. Uh, today I want to show you uh, how to get your root staked on the root network. And this is the quickest, easiest way that I know how to do it. You can use Uphold, you can use your Coinbase, wherever you have your root stored, you can transfer it to your MetaMask wallet. But if you don't have any root and you want to do it this way, this is how you're going to do it. Um, so as many of you probably have done, you probably come here and you've gone to staking and you've linked your account, which I'm going to do here. And you sign it. And when you come in, you have your root already on there and you're like, okay, and you hit stake and you see zero and you're like, what's going on? Well, today I'm going to show you how to fix that issue. All right, so first we're going to go to MetaMask, and I'm going to show you how I do it. If you have it coming from Uphold or anywhere else, you're going to want to copy this address here. Okay, and you're going to paste that in there and send it over the ETH, uh, Ethereum network to this address. But today what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to buy some using MetaMask. So this is the quickest, easiest, and cheapest way to do it uh, without occurring... A million dollars in fees <laughs> okay we're gonna go ahead and buy and I'm gonna select we're gonna do 50 and we're gonna go ahead and click on link by stripe this is the one I use because you can use any one you want but I prefer this one because I can use a credit card and nowhere else on the internet can I use a credit card to buy crypto for some reason so I'm gonna go ahead and click continue with stripe oh wait first we're gonna hit connect wallet and we're gonna hit next and we're gonna hit continue and then now we're gonna be able to click on it so we'll do 53 because I want about 50 in there all right so I'm gonna hit continue and we're gonna hit continue and you you know you'll have to put in your information like your uh, ID and everything just like you would have to do on most networks like exchanges um, but anyways it's gonna give you your address you cannot change this this is your MetaMask wallet and I'm gonna hit use this wallet and I'm going to use uh, this card and it's gonna send me a link to verify or a number to verify on my phone and it's 302218 I'm gonna hit review order and I am going to accept. And I'm going to verify this. Now it's going to take about, you know, 30, 40 seconds, if not sooner, to transfer this to my MetaMask wallet here. And as you can see up here, it is not here yet. I only have $3.02 in there. And the reason I find this easier if you don't have root is just the fact that you're going to need Ethereum anyways in order to complete the transaction because there's gas fees and they're going to want some gas fees for these transactions so that's just the name of the game you got to pay you know transaction fees in order to do this so now it should be right here in my wallet as you can see it has finished and it's going to give us a little confirmation here and we can go ahead and close that out because we have it in our wallet and i'm going to go ahead and actually a second I'm going to close this out also. I cannot do that because I am recording. So this is a bit difficult. What is going on? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to go back to staking. And then we're, we're going to need to go to Futureverse. All right. Now, I will include both of these links in the description. But I'm sure you already are going to have this. Um, 
Let me get back to our MetaMask. Um, of course, I'm going to have to put my password in. I don't know why it's making me re-sign it, but I'm going to re-sign it anyways. And as you can see, I currently have 20,400 root staked. But, um, first of all, we're going to have to go back over here. Sorry, I'm getting everything confused here. Um, we're going to want to go to, first of all, first, first things first. All right. What you need to do is go over to your tokens and you probably won't have root in here. So what you're going to need to do is hit import tokens and then hit custom tokens. And then we're going to go over here and search root network contract address. And this is what you're going to need to put in in order for root to show, show up on your uh, MetaMask. Go back over here and I will hit import tokens and I will hit custom token and I will paste that contract address, which for me, it has already been added. But if you haven't, you will just go through and it will give you a couple errors saying, are you sure this is non-verified, whatever, whatever. Um, and you're going to hit yes, yes, yes. And then root will show up here. And then once it does, we're going to go over here to swap. And we're going to swap some Ethereum. So I'm going to go ahead and take this amount and put it in here. And that's $53. That's what we have in our account. But we're going to want to leave a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to 65. And that gives us, actually, we'll do 70. 75. There we go. Uh, 74. I'm trying to make it about 50 bucks. Okay, so that leaves a little bit of room for our gas fees. And I will go ahead and type in root. And it will say it has been added manually. Please verify that you want to keep doing this. And I'm going to hit continue swapping. And then it's going to fetch us a, see right here, gas fees. We have gas fees and this is exactly why I said, um, in fact, we're going to lower this just a little bit because I know gas is going to be outrageous right now. So we'll do about, um, yeah, we'll do about that amount. All right. So that is our gas fee and we will get about 1,075 root and I'm going to go ahead and hit swap. And it's going to say privately submitting your swap. Now, like I said before, if you already have some root on an exchange, you can just send it to this address and you will bypass everything that I'm doing right now. But this is for people that don't have root and they want to add root to their MetaMask. But like I said, if you already have it, then you can just keep going on with the video and it says swap is complete. And now we have our root here and we still have a little bit of Ethereum for gas fees. So... Now, this is where you're like, okay, come back over here to staking, and you're like, all right, I'll even refresh the page. As you can see, this is our address for our MetaMask. It's going to be up here. This is the address, and I'm going to, oh, sorry, I'm going to go ahead and hit stake, and as you can see, I'm like, okay, where is my root? It's in my MetaMask, as you can see, but it is not showing up over here. And this is where everyone is getting confused. I scoured the internet and I could not figure this out. And I finally did. You have to come over here to Future Pass, which I will link in the description. Link your MetaMask. Go ahead and hit Next. Continue. And then Sign In. And you will see in a second here, when I hit Stuff, you want to hit stuff down here and then you want to hit tokens and you scroll down and you will see your tokens in your MetaMask here. Now we want to transfer these root tokens into the root network. As you can see, there is an Ethereum logo. So it's saying that our tokens are on the Ethereum network, which is here. 
we want to transfer to E4 D0, which is going to show up over here. If I click this, you're going to see that E4 D0. That's our future pass address. And then it'll show up over here. So what we'll do is we'll go back over here. We're going to want to click here and we're going to want to hit bridge. And then we're going to put in this amount here. So I'm just going to copy that, paste it there. And it's going to say E4 D0, which is, like I said, our future pass address. So we'll go back over here and we will make sure that that is selected. And then and this is why I said you want to save a little bit of Ethereum because there isn't an Ethereum gas fee here. So I'm going to hit approve root. And that's going to open our MetaMask. And we're going to hit max, just hit max and then hit next. And then approve. Now it's going to say approve in tokens, please wait. Now it has been confirmed. And you think, oh, I'm done. I'm good. I can close out this window. Don't do that. You're going to hit it one more time. And you're going to scroll down. And like I said, right here, this is our gas fee. So this is why I kept a couple dollars in there for gas. And I'm going to hit confirm. And now it's going to say pending. This is probably going to take about 10 minutes to process. And then once it processes, I'll be right back. I know down here it says it has been confirmed. It has been confirmed on the Ethereum side, but now it's going through the root network. And for what ungodly reason, it takes about 10 minutes to process. So I will fast forward here and I will be right back once it processes. Let me just make sure it hasn't processed. Every other transaction I've done has taken about 10 minutes. So if I click here, it will say oh, this is the Ethereum scan and it says that it was successful. Now, the reason why it takes so long is because, it, like I said, it's bridging it through the network. So it's going from Ethereum to the root network. And that is what takes so long. So like I said, I'll probably be back around 156 and we'll go from there. All right. So I gave it a little bit of extra time. Um, and we'll go ahead and refresh and see what is going on. All right, it has completed. All right, so now we go back to tokens. We will see that our tokens have been moved and there's no longer root on there. And let's go check our wallet. It has been moved. There's now zero root available and we have about 78 cents left and this is good because we don't need Ethereum right now. We're going to go ahead and just, oh, there it is right there. Our root is now available to stake. And we'll go ahead and refresh this. And we will hit stake root. And now, as you can see, it is available. So for whatever reason, you have to transfer it to the root network, which is also connected to your MetaMask. But when you hit on MetaMask, you will see that you have nothing here available. I don't know why it does that, but it does and it will be available here and I'll go ahead and hit max and then make sure that the gas payment is root and hit confirm and then continue. And then we will sign this and it should now be available. There it is. So if we go back to our future pass, we now have a zero in there and it just completely is in staking right now. And that is how it's done guys. Sorry for the long video, but I wanted to make sure that I covered all my bases. So have a great day or night. Um, if this helped you, please comment. Please put a like on this video so other people can find it. Thank you and have a great rest of your day or night.